Hello and welcome back to our webcast series on the topic of plane and descriptive geometry. So in this video we're going to see how to locate the true shape of a surface and we're going to introduce two methods um, that we can use to do so. So we'll begin by first of all looking at what the true shape of an object actually is and how do we see or what are the conditions to see the true shape of an object. So first of all the true shape of a surface is seen when looking directly at the surface. Uh, another way of saying that is that the surface does not slope towards us or away from us. And if we take the example here of say a two half door uh, we can see here's the front elevation of it, here's the plan view and in our plan view we're looking straight in front of the door um, and in that case our front elevation we will see the door as a true shape. If we were to say hinge the door like so well you can see the top half of the door is hinged the bottom half maintains straight in front of us so the bottom half of the door is still a true shape whereas the top half of the door has become foreshortened so the width of it has become foreshortened or is narrower appears narrower than what it actually is so the top half here is not a true shape. Um, now let's just look at um, how we look at this or how would we describe this graphically. Well graphically what we say is we say that we view the surface from a direction perpendicular to its edge view. So if I was to take my door and hinge him back again and let's look at it now we can see if this is my viewing direction that gives me my front elevation you can see I'm now looking at it perpendicular. So perpendicular is the graphical way to say straight in front of. Um, another way we could describe it is that we are now projecting the image onto a, a plane parallel to its surface. So if we look at the XY line, the edge view of our surface here, our door, is parallel with the XY line, which is another indicator that it's going to be a true shape up here. Um, in both examples, it's very important that we're using the edge view, that we're looking straight into the edge view of the surface. Um, so let's first of all look at our first method for getting is the true shape of an object. Um, this method is known as the auxiliary method and basically what we're going to do is we're going to move ourselves to a new position where we can see or look straight in front of the uh, edge view of our surface. So here we have a pyramid with a slice taken out of it like so and you can see if we're looking from above um, this surface here, this cut surface isn't going to be seen as a true shape in our plan view because it is actually tilted away from us so that doesn't meet our condition. Um, if we want to see or look straight in at it uh, we need to take an auxiliary looking perpendicular to it. So if we're looking in perpendicular to it like so there we can see it in our 3D view we're going to have to project it onto a plane so our x1 y1 line is going to be perpendicular to our viewing direction or parallel to the edge view of our object. So that was our second condition. So this x1, y1 line will represent a, an auxiliary plane like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to project the edge view of our object onto this plane. So this is the equivalent of us shining a torch and gathering up the edges of our true shape and projecting it onto our image like so. Now you can see I'm only taking the shape that I'm trying to find the true shape of. Um, it wouldn't make sense to take the entire object in this case because you're bringing in a lot of extra work and because we're in this case looking from below the object well what we would see would be in hidden detail so you can just isolate the surface that you're trying to find the true shape of. Um, now back to our 2D version here in order to draw the auxiliary we're going to use our 1-2 rule counting back two views to the previous XY line to get our distances. So counting back one view counting back two views we're going to take our measurements from the plan view and back from our previous XY line here we're going to take our distances and step them off here giving us the true shape of our object. So we have first of all located the edge view of our object, we've looked perpendicular to it and now we're going to get the true shape of our object and this is the auxiliary method. The second approach we're going to take is what's known as the rebatment method and this basically works on the idea of instead of moving ourselves around to look at the object we're going to move the object itself and we're going to do that by taking our surface that we're trying to find a true shape of, we're going to pick one of the edges that we see as a true length. So in this case here, the bottom edge here, when looking in our plan view, is going to be a true length line. We're going to use that as a hinge line, and we're going to hinge this surface so it moves up and around, and it's going to hinge like so, giving us the true shape of it when we look from above into our plan view. 
So this is what we're doing in 3D. Let's just represent that over here in our 2D. So we first of all start with the view where we see the surface as an edge. That's our front elevation here. And I've just labeled the points P and Q, the left and right, are the top and bottom points of our um, surface. So naturally enough, when we hinge this, and um, we're going to keep hinging it until it is eventually horizontal. So that's going to be the equivalent of hinging it like so. And on your sheet, you're just going to draw from our hinge point here, a line horizontal. So that line there is going to be parallel with the XY line. When we're standing above the object, looking down as we are for our plan view, we're now looking straight at this surface here. Um, in our front elevation, in order to carry P and Q onto this line here, we just put our compass on our hinge point here, and we just swing it our arc like so. So that represents our surface as it is hinged around. Now, as our surface hinges around in elevation, the same thing is going to apply in our plan view. But instead of forming an arc here like so, um, because we don't have a hinge point, well here we have a hinge line, which is a true length line in plan view. Well, the way it works is that our points P and Q will always move perpendicular to our hinge line. So P is going to move along like this. This line here represents our arc in elevation, and it's perpendicular to our hinge line like so. So P moves out like so, same with Q, and how we know where to stop is gotten from our elevation. So this point here is going to be moved down to give us our hinged out version of our object. You can see it's a case of joining these two points, that's P1 and Q1, back to our original hinge line, which hasn't moved. So that gives us the true shape here in our plan view using our rebatment method. So that's two methods to locate the true shape of an object. We'll go into it, each of them in more specific detail in some free, um, subsequent uh, videos, but for the moment that's an overview of the two approaches that we take. Um, that's the end of our video here, so hopefully um, you've uh, gotten a bit from this, so remember stay tuned for more videos and thank you very much.